think a good place to start is letting people know that we are all bystanders in a world where there are so many different forms of oppression happening all the time at once. Um, and that recognizing that certain forms of harm are so normal that we don't see them. Mm. And so, you know, I like what Nasi was saying, you know, a lot of what we're doing is helping people recognize those small moments, expanding their understanding of harm using like, you know, an intersectional approach, because the reality is a lot of us probably have identities uh, that have uh, experienced harm um, and showing how, you know, a lot of the times the tactic, the, the tactics, the progression of violence in one form like racism will often be similar to the progression of violence and sexism, ableism, homophobia, classism. Um, it's important to tell people that you can be a bystander before, during, or after harm is committed. You know, as a preventionist, I am always, you know, I'm not really the kind of person who's too comfortable with, you know, the bouncer intervention where now I got to intervene, put on my cape and physically separate people. Um, I think that puts you in more risk for danger. Um, I also understand that there are a lot of reasons why people may not feel safe Mm -hmm. uh, engaging in bouncer intervention. So how can I, you know, give you strategies to intervene and interrupt uh, potential harm right from that moment where you're feeling something uncomfortable, where it hasn't gotten to this point where, oh, we need to kick this person out or something so egregious that you know it has had a serious impact on someone. Mm -hmm. How can I, you know, for example, in nightlife, encourage a bartender who sees someone that they think could be experienced sexual harassment or discomfort to go over and just pour a glass of water and say, hey, how are you doing? what brings you here tonight and find out if those people are, you know, some friends having a spat or if they're on their first Tinder date, find out if they've gone to an event before here so you can start to engage their toxic intoxication level. And by that small check-in, you're gathering information, you're figuring out whether or not that's something you need to keep your eye on, mm -hmm. but you are also letting the person you think is uncomfortable feel seen and you're letting the person you know who is, uh, who you think is causing the harm know that you've got your eyes on them.